Welcome to this Tuesday edition of The Final Wager, and we have a complicated scenario today, so let's get right into it. Michelle and Derek duking it out for first, and Lisa a distant third. We'll start with Michelle and Derek. Derek doubles up. He's going to have 23600 So to cover him, Michelle will want to wager 11000 she gets it wrong, she's going to be left with 1600 So to stay above that, Annalisa can wager up to 1000 And Derek can wager up to 10200 Now we look at second and third, Annalisa and Derek. If Annalisa doubles up, she's going to have 5200 So to stay above her, Derek can wager up to 6600 Now for rule number three, between Derek and Michelle, if Derek wants to cover a zero wager by Michelle, he can wager 800, and then to cover that Colby-esque unsafe wager, he can go for 1600. Now, since Derek was able to both stay above Annalisa no matter what, and cover a zero wager by Michelle, we're in a situation called Shores Conjecture. And this is one of the most interesting mind game situations in all of wagering. Let's start with what happens if Derek goes for this 6,600 amount so as not to fall below Lisa, or Annalise, I should say. If he wages that amount and gets it right, of 18,400. So if Michelle thinks he's going to do that, she could wager 5,800. If she gets it wrong with that wager, she's going to be left with... 6,800. So if Derek wants to stay above that, he should cap his wager at 5,000. So I'm going to cross this out and put 5,000 instead. Of course, we could go back and forth between Michelle and Derek. We could say, well, Derek gets wagers 5,000, gets it right. What should Michelle wager? And then back and forth. And we're not going to do that just because even going one level deep is kind of an assumption that maybe we don't want to make. Here, if Michelle gets it wrong, odds are she's going to lose to Annalisa at least, unless she wagers everything. And she'll probably lose to Derek as well if he wagers rationally. So this is something that she might want to take into consideration. Another thing that Derek could consider is, well, all right, I think Annalisa is going to wager this rationally. If she wagers 1,000 and gets it right, she'll have 3,600. So to stay above that... I could wager 8200 And then Michelle says, well, I think Derek's going to do that, then I should wager this. I would not go that far, just because that seems very unlikely that Derek will predict Annalisa's wager, and Michelle can't, can't make that assumption. I mean, I guess she could, but I'm not going to go through it here. And the last thing that Derek could do if he wanted is wager to stay above Annalisa's current total, but... See, this is a very complicated situation since Michelle has so much riding on this one clue. She gets it wrong, particularly. Okay, I've blabbed too much. I'm going to watch and see what happened, and we'll go from there. Start with Annalisa in third place. She got it wrong, wagered everything but a dollar. Derek got it right and wagered 11000 And Michelle got it wrong and wagered 12000 Three horrendous wagers. Don't wager more than you absolutely have to to win the game or to give yourself the best chance of winning the game. Notice that if all three players had gotten the question wrong, Derek would have won with 800 because both the other players wagered too much. Just bad wagering and I don't even want to talk about it. See if I feel better tomorrow on the final wager.